Let me guess, you still didn't find the ultra wide angle lens for your set of vintage lenses. And that's totally normal, because those lenses are extremely rare and nobody wants to sell them. But what's the solution for this problem? There is a little solution. The problem is that this solution is extremely rare as well. So I don't know what's the point of making this video, because you probably will never find this adapter online. And I hope you can find it in your local shops where you live. Because I'm talking about the... let me read... Schneider Kreuznach Xenar 0.7 Wide Angle Lens Adapter. And let me say that this adapter is extremely good. Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I'm gonna share with you some sample footage and my opinion regarding this wide angle lens adapter from Snyder. Before we start I wanna say thank you to my friend Tim, he gave me the tip about this wide angle lens adapter, otherwise I will never know about it. And if you don't know Tim, he's a great guru about anamorphic lenses, so go to check out his channel, I will put the link in the description. I've tested this lens adapter with my set of Leica R and Contax Zeiss, and I can say that it's uh, extremely good, but you have to consider that this adapter works the best with lenses that have a range from 28mm to 35mm. I tested this adapter also with the 25 and 50 mm lenses, but with the 25 you're gonna see a huge amount of uh, vignetting that it can be okay if you shoot wide open, but if you tend to stop down the aperture of your wide angle lens, uh, let's say already at f5.6, the vignetting get uh, even stronger. And with the 50 mm lens, if you don't stop down the aperture to f4 or f5.6, you're gonna see a really funky image because the resolution is gonna be pretty bad and you're gonna see a lot of ghosting. So it is advised to use it with a range of 28 to 35 millimeter focal length. But what's the cool thing about this adapter? For example, if you pair this adapter with a Summicron 35 millimeter f2, you're gonna get a Summicron R 24 millimeter f2. Because of the multiplication, multipi, mul, uh, multiplication factor, you're gonna have realistically a 24.5 mm lens with a wide aperture of f2. I can say that there is a little bit of loss of resolution if you shoot at f2, but if you stop down the aperture to f2.8, the image quality is gonna be pretty good. And I know what are you thinking. If you pair this adapter with a 28mm f2.8, if the math is correct, you're gonna have a 19mm lens f2.8, like the Elmarit 19mm f2.8, that is pretty impossible to find and cost a huge amount of money. So with this lens adapter that I found it for 25 euros on eBay, I don't know for how long it's gonna cost uh, this amount of money. I suggest you to get one as soon as possible if you're watching this video now that it came out. And uh, it is pretty amazing. Of course, the adapter is gonna alter the rendition of the lens in a way that uh, the image are gonna look a little bit more uh, vintage if you don't stop down the aperture of your lens. But for the money, it is worth to consider this adapter. For example, for my type of shooting, I can just shoot everything with a 35mm f2 and if I need to go wider, I can snap on top of my lens this adapter to have a wider perspective. Uh, that is pretty handy if you shoot indoor or if you need uh, a different type of look. Of course, if you're gonna add this adapter on the Summicron 35mm f2, you're not gonna get the same image quality as the 24mm f2.8 Elmarit, because this lens is extremely sharp and is the same uh, if you think about the 28mm with the 19mm, you're not gonna get the same image quality, because this adapter will alter a bit the flares, the color rendition and the sharpness of the taking lens. And consider that using this uh, lens adapter will give you some problems with the ND filtration. If you don't have a proper matte box, let's say the one with the cloth going around your lens, because this filter thread 
Yeah, it's around, I think, under five millimeters. For example, I cannot fit my Tilta Mini Matte Box on this lens. Uh, so the only way to have an ND filter on this lens is to put it in between the tagging lens and the adapter. The problem is that if you're gonna use that filter with an ultra wide angle lens, for example, with a 25 millimeter f2.8 from Contact Zeiss, the vignetting is gonna be extremely huge. And on the 28, you're gonna get some vignetting, vignetting, and on the 35 millimeters, uh, f2.8 or f2 or f1.4, no, you cannot use it on the f1.4 because this adapter has a 55 millimeter filter thread. So uh, on the 35 millimeters, f2 and f2.8, the vignetting is not gonna be visible. I wouldn't recommend to attach this lens adapter on top of the variable ND filter because you're gonna add a bit of weight on the second element of the variable ND filter that can pop out from uh, the main filter thread and can let you drop this lens adapter. And so the only solution is to use a good matte box or just a 55 millimeter fixed ND filter. I'm not sure if there are other great wide angle lens adapters like this available in the market, but if you know something about it, please share it with us in the comment area below so everyone can have a little piece of the cake. But this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did it, please like the video to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao! That's a nice front element. Remind me something. Yeah, almost twins. <laughs>